Good evening. I am here in Linwood, and although Snohomish County currently makes up about 10% of the statewide population, county data shows they now account for more than 18% of heroin related deaths statewide. So that's why Acadia Health, a company, says that drug treatment centers are badly needed here in Linwood. But protesting parents at tonight's uh, city council meeting says that's not what they're in opposition to. It's location. Take a look. I don't want it there. I want this treatment center just like the community health center in a dignified location. Protective parents push back as one of Snohomish County's largest treatment centers, Acadia Health, plans to relocate its Bothell facility here to Linwood as soon as January 23rd. An estimated 300 patients. It'd be one of few clinics that administers methadone, a medication for opioid dependence. But the dispute is about location. It'd be next door to a boys and girls club, an after school program for kids and teens. You know, we were in this position of either being called, you know, NIMBYs and, and you know, like, um, you know, you, you, you just don't have a heart. You don't want to help people. Or we stand up and try to protect our community. And we want to know who is accountable for this. We, we also want to know this. And we are glad that the city council apparently is on our side and want to work with us. Opposing parents aren't disputing the need for care clinics rather wrong location because kids is too close to our kids and the council agrees wrong place for it if Linwood wants one or will have one and I think they should it should be I'm thinking like along highway 99 in a light industrial area city council says by state law there's nothing that they can do to stop it from debuting at that site so who can the state department of health I reached out to them and a spokesperson told me a final decision on its licensing has yet to be made, writing, quote, the Department of Health is now waiting for Acadia to meet some final requirements, including meeting with local governing bodies and providing an updated community relations plan before the department can make a final licensing decision. I just want to make sure everybody has a say in this and everybody can have input on that community relations plan. And that community relations presentation was something that an Acadia Health representative was prepared to do here tonight. Uh, there was a representative here, but the opposing council never did call them up to make that presentation. So it appears to be at a bit of a deadlock. Meanwhile, I should note that Acadia Health previously addressed security concerns by saying it hires security guards if needed. Reporting live in Linwood tonight, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.